Okay, guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. Today I have a very special episode. I want to show you how uh, I start my corporate tracks uh, composition and how I uh, speed up this process. Okay, so here we are. Here I have uh, done a, a very, very basic a piano part. And, and I usually start my compositions like this. Uh, if you have been following me, you know that I actually like to work with loops. And by that, I mean that I have like a four bar loop in the beginning of the composition process. And when I do my corporate tracks, I usually start with a four uh, chord uh, piano progression, if you will. Something that is very simple, very, very, very basic. In this case, we're using a C major, uh, G major, uh, A minor, and F major. So it's just a very classic uh, chord progression. And, and it will sound something like this, really. Let's see. So, so we just, uh, just this is just a foundation uh, of my composition in this uh, situation or in this particular uh, track that I'm going to be working on. And and what I like to do, and you can do this in many ways, for, uh, of course. I like to to do my my corporate tracks. I like to to do it with my my, my guitar, my real playing. I don't use plugins or I don't use any any types of uh, sound library for the muted. Uh, plugged kind of like a sound that you hear a lot on on corporate tracks so uh, it's just easier for me because i'm a guitar player so so i like to just use the guitar straight into the actual 11 rack which is what i'm using nothing in between and i use the delay that dotted delay that you hear a lot on corporate tracks uh, bouncing from left to right uh, i like to to, to use that uh, while i'm playing the actual uh, guitar and going in into the actual session here as you can see i'm using logic so, so the first thing I do is I create a new instrument uh, track and I will just, the very first thing, I will just uh, jam on top of this and see what kind of sounds or what kind of riff I can, I can get. Uh, so you can, that, that's, that's the sound that I have to work with today. So that's the delay, nothing really special. It's, it's, it's really a preset, I haven't really touched it. It comes uh, factory, from the factory presets in, uh, I really don't touch the delay. I don't even know exactly what's the timing, but I think it works perfectly with, with this particular track. Uh, and I try to stick to, to these kind of presets and, and, and just not mess about with it or, or not try to reinvent the wheel again and again. So uh, I will jam a little bit on top of this loop and see what kind of riffs I can come up with to, to create this corporate vibe immediately as fast as possible because that's the whole point of uh, this tutorial. So let's jam a little bit and see what I can come up with. Try that one more time. Let's say that I like something like that. So I will go straight away and, and, and lay down, lay, lay that track down immediately as fast as possible. So let's listen to that very quickly. So uh, after that, what I will do, uh, so that I, let's, let's say that I like that riff, okay? Create another track immediately. And uh, let me just set this up very quickly. And I will double track that pretty much, just play that same riff again one more time in a separate track. A little bit of a mistake. So 
let's say I did two takes in this particular one. So now what I do with these two different, different takes of the same riff, I will pan one to the left and one to the right. And it will sound something like this. Now, now what that does is that double tracking of uh, two uh, identical guitar riffs, but on different tra on different uh, channels. When you do that, you left uh, one to the to the left and another one to the right, like separate them like really wide, and it creates that wide effect. Uh, that's just a secret sauce. Now, it, because it's, I, I'm playing it, I'm not even quantized here. I'm not so much concerned with the actual sounds if it's if it's a EQ or, or anything, I just want to get down the, the, that vibe, that corporate vibe immediately as fast as possible, okay, from an idea into the actual session as quick as possible. So what I will do here from this point on is just jam and have some fun because it's all about having fun with these uh, compositions, uh, especially when you know how to uh, have access to this kind of uh, sounds, which is, in this case, the corporate uh, uh, track or the corporate uh, music track that we're, we're, we're aiming for, is that kind of delayed uh, bouncing, uh, that dotted delay that you can create in many ways. Like I said, if you're not a guitar player, uh, most of my uh, comp most of my friends who are composers that don't play the guitar, they actually have uh, a plugin or, or uh, samples, and they actually program this. And they they insert the delay, the dotted uh, delay, which creates that kind of like a U2 kind of kind of vibe, guitar bouncing. Uh, and I like to accomplish this with my, my my guitar playing and have that imperfection because everything else is going to be anyways to the grid, like the piano, the drums, and everything else that follows after that. So I like to have that element of uh, organic human feel and almost like imperfection. And if you listen to them, they're not really in time. And that's what I'm aiming to as well, that one will be a little bit off and it create uh, that uh, facing issue in the waveform, which makes it for us listening uh, when it's a stereo, uh, in the stereo field, we can hear that so wide. And that's, that's the secret here. So if you listen to them, So for example, if I do this and I put them both in the middle, it sounds completely different. And, and I guess, yes, you can have a stereo track and, and, and it will be a, a different situation, but you can experiment with this. And the key here is, uh, is yes, be as tight as possible, but at the same time be as uh, tight. When I say tight, uh, be to the grid, but at the same time be a little bit uh, loose and create that a little bit of imperfection because everything else is going to be, like I said, to the grid, especially when I introduced uh, the kick drum and, and all the other elements. It's going to be pretty quantized or, or very tight in nature. So, But if you check it uh, as it is right now, it's pretty much in, in time, you know? That's with a click track. So I must be able to create this vibe from the get-go. And that's a problem that I had when I was starting off doing a royalty-free music. It's like, how can I get that uh, corporate sound from the get-go? And, and you must be able to do this from the, from the very beginning uh, of the process, you know? So regardless of the, of the genre, you need to get these vibes going on with just two elements. And it has to sound at least in the ballpark. In this case, I only have a piano and the guitar, and it already sounds like a corporate music track without adding any other elements of the production, like the drums or the strings or whatever other bells and whistles that I might add up uh, later on, which is just going to be something that's going to support this uh, main idea of the actual uh, guitar playing uh, with a piano melody. Now, what I do after this I have another track here, and I start to experiment as well, and I start to jam and have fun with it, okay? Because it's all about having fun in the composition uh, process and the, in the creation. So uh, let's 
let's see what I can come up with, really. Let's see what kind of melodies. And, and obviously, I'm playing stuff that I'm very familiar, familiarized with, and I, and I have done this so many times. But I can, I can really be free and, and, and be loose to just experiment with melodies and, and, and other things and, and, and playing the instrument because I'm a guitar player. So uh, I guess if you were a drummer, you would like to record your own drums. If you have the space to record your own drums, you wouldn't like to program the drums, you know. And then the same goes if you play the violin or some stringed instrument. Uh, you would like to play it and record it with a real microphone. And it's the same with the guitar. You know, there's no reason for me to program this kind of a muted guitar, which is uh, the bread and butter of a corporate track. So I like to do it uh, played in, uh, with the effect going straight into the actual session. But anyways, this is what I will do from this point on. And I will just jam really at this point and see what, what can possibly work. Let's say I want an, an idea like that, just a melody of the guitar. I'm not changing, not even the preset or the sound of the guitar at all. It's the same preset that I'm using. And I will just go, go very quickly. Two, three, and. So let's say that I like that, okay? And remember, this is just to to put uh, to just throw as many things as possible on the wall and see what sticks. So I will have a quick listen. So that creates a really quick vibe and a very quick uh, uh, idea and vibes uh, when it comes down to to this particular music uh, that I'm aiming for. And from this point on, it's just about having fun and just adding even more elements. So anyways, this is just a quick way of uh, fast tracking or, or, or very quick composition because the beginning is usually what we struggle the most. It's a lot of our composers have a lot of issues with this. I, I knew I had them in the beginning. So, so, so the aim with this kind of tutorial is like, how can I get to, to what I, where I need to get as fast as possible and knowing how and knowing what I need to do and not spend endless uh, hours of looking for the right sound, the right delay, the right plugin. So it's just to keep it as simple as possible. And the secret sauce here is these two particular tracks. There are wide open, one left and the other one right, uh, double tracking this uh, kind of a uh, guitar rift with the delay already and the delay is not even a slave to the actual tempo of the track in this case it's 120 the delay is completely uh, i don't even know what it what, what what's the delay tempo you know and but i just play it and it sounds good to me and 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 i like like i said i like this a particular uh preset that i use which i haven't really touched it or, or anything it's just a plug and play kind of thing and, and once you find that you just stick to that uh particular uh like like template I guess I don't use templates myself I just compose literally as I'm going on a loop and just start adding even more elements to the, the composition so so there you go this is a very quick uh, idea and from here I can develop this uh, track like intro verse and so on and so forth and keep adding elements as I go along so this is what I will have very very quickly Then I double check that it's all in time. And that's it, that's a very quick way to, to lay down your tracks and really have an idea from an idea as quick as possible in the session. So uh, anyways, I hope this video uh, is helpful to you. Let me know in the comment section if this is something that you would like to see more of, uh, more production tips and how can we start the composition process as fast as possible. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment sections. And again, thanks a lot for all the love and support. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for, for all the comments. And, and, and as always, rock and roll. And here's to your success.